Hi everybody, I'm here in beautiful Bethlehem, Pennsylvania at the Central Moravian Church to show you the amazing live streaming system they're using to broadcast their services. Let's take a look. Look at this beautiful space here in the Central Moravian Church. This is a big space. And that is why we've chosen four 30X optical zoom PTZ optics cameras, as you can see here. It's a very beautiful space, and so all the cameras are white. They're very small and discreetly mounted, so they don't, they're not obtrusive in any way. These 30X cameras are able to zoom in up to 75 feet away. We're gonna show you how the media director is able to use Wirecast to control those PTZ cameras and set up the different shots to be able to zoom in and show detailed images in really uh, HD quality for their live streams and recordings. So I'm gonna turn it over to Will Schwab, the media director at the Central Moravian Church who helped select the IP networking. There's a 24 port PoE switch. There's a, a custom desk here that he has four monitors attached. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the vision here, why they chose the Wirecast Gear 420, the X-Keys controller, and how they're using this live streaming system to connect with their congregations around and members actually all around the world. My name is Will Schwab. I'm the media director for Central Moravian Church in Bethlehem, PA. We're using the PTZ optics cameras to cover the entire sanctuary. We have two of them located in the front of the church, facing back towards the choir loft. That way we can capture the organist, our soloist instruments we may have, such as a trombone that we'll be playing during the prelude and postludes. We also have two cameras in the back of the church facing the front. The first is located in the center under the choir loft that primarily focuses on our two pulpits. And then we have one to the left of it that's in line with our baptismal font. So when we have infant baptisms, we can use that. We also use that if we have to, uh, or if we want to be able to focus on other things in the front of the sanctuary, such as during the non-pandemic times, we have a bell choir on occasion, or if we want to be able to capture the pastors as they walk into the, the church. It can be a challenge at, at times, uh, in part because we need to know, understand what the pastors have planned for the service. If we know what they have planned, it's actually very easy because we can set up various shots in Wirecast and they can be mapped to various keys, select the shot and the camera will move to where it needs to be. We don't quite know where we're going. It can be a little difficult at times to punch up the right camera and then figure out where they're going on the fly, but that, ha that, that can happen with anything. So we have to always be prepared for it. Yes, we use the hardware joystick for anything that we need to do on the fly. In case we also maybe need finer level controls than we could get with the keyboard. For example, during a baptism, uh, an infant baptism, we typically will show the infant to the congregation after the baptism. So we would want to be able to control the camera movements to follow the infant as it walked across the sanctuary. And that's not something we could easily do with the keyboard because the pastors may walk at different speeds, they may pause, and it's a lot easier to do with manual control. Uh, we're using the cameras one through four here. So this maps to various cameras I have on the monitor, uh, labels as to what the act which, which button goes to actually which camera, because oh, otherwise, sorry. good chance I probably pressed the wrong button at some point. <laughs> in this case, I have a camera two pulled up, which is the camera in the southeast corner of the church, which is located directly in front of us on top of that ridge. We can see the camera here in the preview. This is actually all the way zoomed in from the entire other side of the church. During the pandemic, we're primarily focused on the organ. 
That way you can see the organ, you can see her playing. We have the soloist that might be standing more in the choir loft here. I can adjust it slightly to make him look better in the shot so it's not like, oh, he's this tiny little person on a screen. No, we can actually make him fill the space. Each color code or each corresponds to an individual layer in Wirecast. Mm -hmm. So as long as I have the shot set up, it's just a matter of pushing the button mm -hmm. and it moves it to preview. And then I can press here to move it to, to live. The new version, we have a lot more uh, shot templates available. So I can come in here, I can add two placeholders. The, you don't have to run coax or anything. It's, it's all ethernet. It's all, you, we're all using power over ethernet. So we don't even have to worry about getting DC power to the camera. So it's all on the ethernet cable. The Wirecast gear system, the UPS for that. We have another UPS and the space for the computer, that, for the permanent computer that be, that's going to be running Media Shout. This is a UPS oh, just see. for the Wirecast gear. Got it. And then is there a network switch? Uh, the network switch is... Oh, it's not side mounted to the side. They mounted to, to the side. The Easter Dawn service is done by, put on by the six other Moravian churches in Bethlehem. And this year was held exclusively up at God's Acre, which is our, the cemetery. Now, we don't have cameras up there. We don't have uh, Wi-Fi up there. So we use the functionality of the system called Wirecast Rendezvous with a cell phone to basically record and stream the, ser and stream the service back to our workstation here. A Wirecast address it just as any other camera, in which we were able to then overlay various banners to it, uh, show the liturgy on the screen, and then stream all of that out to YouTube. I believe we had like 200 people in, in person, and the last, when I had checked later that morning, we had, I believe, 400 people watch the service on, on YouTube. Statistics we're getting from YouTube are showing that we have people in the US and in Korea, but we also simultaneously stream to Facebook Live. Facebook Live, we have the, the commenting turned on. So we actually, so people may say, hello, good to see you, greetings from wherever. During the past year, we had people uh, send greetings from Hawaii, from Nepal. So it's, we're definitely reaching people outside of Bethlehem. My favorite part is actually been able to, is being able to utilize this system because it makes it a whole lot easier to help stream the service. Prior to putting this system in, we had cobbled together a method of streaming. We used a camera we had borrowed from Moravian Academy. We used a video transcoder I had uh, that I bought about a couple of years ago, and a couple of webcams, and a laptop. The laptop wasn't necessarily equipped to handle three video input sources. And it was something that we had to set up and take down every time. So because of that, being able to come into here and being able to use a system that's permanently in place, set everything up that I can reuse week after week, it's just been a joy to work with because it makes it a lot easier to do. Figuring out how to best use the software. We're still learning everything we can do with the software. And it's been a interesting uh, adjustment. We've been finding things, software that will make it easier to composite images, to overlay the video with the text. We've had challenges uh, with the sound system, getting the feed into here with humming and ground loops that we've had to overcome. All of those things as we've either have resolved with the humming issue or th there are things that as we're using the software more we're finding better ways of doing it and better ways of presenting how we want to present the actual service well i hope you enjoyed this tour of the central moravian church it really 
is an exciting one for me, having gone to, uh, to college here at Moravian in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. If you like this video, hit the like button. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. We are going to be sending uh, these guys a copy of the unofficial guide to Wirecast. It was a great example of Wirecast in a uh, house of worship space. So take a look at that in the links below. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video, guys. Bye.